uh, I uh, can't do live. It, my phone acts up here. I don't know what it is. I figured it out. But um, I haven't been on a couple of days now because uh, I had to go down to Pennsylvania and pick up a certain somebody. Yes, that's right. Miss Natalie. <laughs> She's with me now. Makes me happy. My world. Um, but I'm going to talk about perseverance today. Now, what I mean by perseverance, I mean, what, I guess what I look at it, we all know what perseverance means, but how you look at it, I guess, um, I've talked about before about how uh, we th see things in our light and the way we see them, and the way, because what, we, what we've dealt with. So, perseverance for us. Perseverance for me is this. I was in the hospice six, seven, eight years ago. I can't remember the time. I was blocked dates out, but um, I just started driving again probably two years ago, a year ago, and... Uh, I haven't driven a freeway in 18 years. Oh, about, about 18, no, maybe less. But I'm just saying. Um, I just drove across country the first time in a 20 foot U haul truck in the backwoods of the town of uh, Pennsylvania, that area. Of, oh my Coatesville. gosh. Coatesville. <laughs> and that's the area. It's like, oh, hey, what's up, Cletus? <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> I was so scared. Being Puerto Rican is like deliverance. <laughs> Y'all hear them banjos? We gonna get them boy right there. He got a nice booty. Soft, jiggly booty. So, you know, it's, perseverance was getting through all that. Um, I drove a 20 foot truck. I drove 890 something miles. And and that's a big deal for me. And for anybody who just a mess that knows what I'm talking about. Because, I mean, it's the nerve wracking. Um, so you're nervous about it all, and then uh, everything else. Um, you're worried if you're going to jerk the thing. And if you, with the, that side of the truck, because it's right below air brake, you're worried about jerking, your hands moving, and you moving over this way or that way. And it's just, uh, it's it's a horrible situation to feel that way all the time. So I, I had to persevere through it. So perseverance for me now is a big, big thing. It's like I understand that aspect of how it best would affect you. I mean, we're always worried about walking in front of people and being amongst people and the anxiety of being out in the public. But you have the anxiety of driving a car, getting pulled over by the cops, and not being able to pass the test that way. And uh, I mean, it's all that stuff. It was in there. The fact that maybe your eyes are not acting right. Um, I've had that many. Um, I, it took me three, two days to do it. Because I did rest. Because, you know, your nerves act up. Your body, MS, acts up. You have to rest. And um, I couldn't just... I don't I don't want to just iron through it like I do workouts or anything like that. Because that's dangerous. That affects my life. It would affect hers. It would affect anybody else on the road. And I'm not going to hurt nobody else like that. Because I want to be... I want to prove I'm a tough guy. No. It's not going to happen like that. So I rested. Um, and it's important. But I persevered through the fear... Of not being able to do it because there was so much telling me no 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 you can't do this you can't do this I was scared at times and I've talked about fear I've talked about being scared I've talked about perseverance I've talked about pushing all that stuff I've talked about it and I it's like I had to I had to face head on all the things that I've talked about again and again and again and and one thing I did know is since I did go through hospice I did go through Walking down the street in Grand Washington and, and falling and, and people looking at me, laughing at me, and I, all that, all that, all that stuff came up to bear. And driving, and and being out there, but I did it. I, like I said, I I found the perseverance to go through it, and um, I want all of you to know that it can be done. Don't let the fear, don't let that that the little voice in the back try to tell you no. It's no, no, no. See, you should be saying no to that little voice. Don't let the little voice control you. Stand up, be something, you got this. MS is nothing to you. But you're allowing it to be bigger than it should. Don't give it the voice. You have the voice. All right? So remember, persevere through it. You end up with somebody as beautiful as I have, because this she's definitely my better half. Now, I'm, I'm 100%. No, she is. She's. And I know I'll kiss some help with some of my guy friends, but hey, kiss my butt. She's awesome. Natalie is is... is yeah. Um, even Jackie likes her, so that's good. Um, I'm just saying, just just uh, 
Find your perseverance because you never know what's up. Take that leap of faith. You have this. You have it. You're stronger than you think you are. Don't let it mess tell you any different. All right? All right, folks. You have a good one. I'm actually going to go and uh, work out because I miss it. I miss working out. So take care of yourself. I'll talk to you later.